Hi everyone, welcome back. So the first thing we're going to do is to set up our Django project. So we're going to be creating a Django project is basically going to be the root or the main entry point of our application or our project. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a folder and then create a virtual environment within that folder. So I'm going to do that with mkdir, that's the command for make directory on Linux. And then what I'm going to do is to create a directory. So I'll give our directory a name. So I'm just going to simply call this Django for beginners. I'm actually going to call it Django beginners. And once I create that folder, then I'll cd into it, basically entering the folder. And when I enter the folder, I am just going to open up my Visual Studio code within the folder. So I'll do that by code dot. And that is actually going to open up our Visual Studio code within our folder. So once we have our Django Beginners folder open, the first thing I'm going to do is to create a virtual environment. Now think of a virtual environment as a container that's going to have all of our dependencies specific to our project. Now a virtual environment is important as it's going to help us to keep our dependencies for our project only specific to our project. So we won't have to actually use another version of Django that's installed on our system. So to create a virtual environment, I'm going to open up our terminal. And what I'm going to do is to come at the top of our Visual Studio code and I'll click on new terminal. And this is actually going to open up my bash terminal within VS Code. Now, once I have this bash terminal, I'm going to create a virtual environment with Python 3, since I'm on Ubuntu. And you can feel free to run that as Python, then minus M, then I'm going to call venv. So by saying minus M, what I'm actually doing is to call venv, which is a module, as a command. And once I call this, then I'm going to also name our virtual environment env. Now after naming our virtual environment env, I'm going to press enter and this is going to go ahead and create our virtual environment. Now that our virtual environment has been created, let's activate it with source env and then I'm going to enter the bin folder. So I'm going to enter bin and then activate. And once I activate this and I'm going to go ahead and basically go ahead and install Django. So to install Django, I run pip. Three. Now this is actually going to be pip on Windows and the way I've actually activated this virtual environment is by using source However in Windows you may do something like env then scripts then activate to enter the directory and then you activate the activate script So I'm just going to go ahead and install our Django using pip So I'll just come and say pip3 install Django And this is actually going to go ahead and install the Django framework within our virtual environment Now that Django has been installed, the first thing we're going to do is to actually set up our project. So a Django project is simply the main entry point of our application. So to start our project, the first thing we're going to do is to basically find out if we have our, pipe, our Django installed. So I'll do that with Python 3 and then I'll try importing Django. So I'm just going to come and say import Django. Now this is actually going to show us that our Django has been installed. So I'll stop our Python console by pressing Ctrl Z. And after doing that, then what I'm actually going to do is to now run our Django admin command. So every time we are within our virtual environment and we actually have our Django admin our Django install. We have access to the Django admin command, which basically allows us to create a new Django application. So if I came to my terminal and I ran this, so I press tab, and this is actually going to complete it for me, meaning that we have it within our virtual environment. So if I press enter, we now see all of the commands that this command has. So when you run the Django admin command, it basically has these flags, all these available sub commands that you can pass onto it so that we do different things. So the first thing we're going to do is to use the start project command. And this is actually going to help us to create a new Django project. So what I'll do is to clear my terminal with Ctrl and L. So I'm just going to come and run Ctrl L. So I'm going to be switching in between this terminal as well as my main terminal right here. So I'm just going to come back right here and what I'll do is to run Django admin and then start project. And then I'm going to give us 
our project and name. So we're going to be creating a simple blogging project. So let's just actually just call it a simple Django app. So I may start and call this a blog a project. Actually, let's build a blog project for this uh, series of videos. So now that we have a blog project, I am going to enter and this is actually going to create a folder called blog project. But what you want is to have a main money.py file just within our root project folder. So I'm just going to remove it with rm and rf and then blog project. And that's going to actually remove it. So if I run the command again, I'm going to actually start the project within our main folder by specifying that we actually need this to be created within our root project folder. So once we have that, then it's actually going to create our main money.py file within our root project. And we can now go ahead and verify our installation with python3 money.py and then we're going to go ahead and run server. So when I run server, we now see our server is going to run and we can be able to access our web server at localhost 8000. So to click on this to actually access it, I'll control and click on it. So I press control and click. And this will actually go ahead and open up our Django. So our installation was successful. Now we are safe. Now our Django installation is working. I hope you've learned from this video and see you in the next video.